Welcome back to 48 Hours. What's he doing? What's he done? Defensive errors. It's the final week of the Premier League, Sean. It is. We've got Euros coming up, but what's he doing? 38. It's match week 38. It was an absolute cluster of goals today, Sean. How many total? 36. We're going to bring you every fault for every one. We're going to start off. Luke Fulham. Lutt Fall. Lutt Fall. We're going to start off Luton Fulham. Okay, Sean, yeah. First up is Mengi. Dragged out of position and pays the price as Traore bullets his shot. Through Hashioka. Hashioka came over to do it the best, best he could, but Mengi's out of position. Where's he going? What's he doing? Sit down. We said the thing. Well, next up is Bassi. Mm -hmm. And a uh, pretty easy one. Yeah. One of the three commandments of what's he doing. You give you, the pen. You give the pen, you get the fault. Mm -hmm. And this was a little stompy stomp. Yeah, he did. He just stomped him out. <laughs> just... This happened to Gallagher, though, and we didn't get it because Anthony Taylor is a. Okay, yeah, Raul Jimenez with all the space. Guess who it goes through, Sean? It goes straight through Osho. Oh. What's he doing? It's the wrong way to block, mate. He guessed. He basically dived to the left when he needed to dive to the right with his feet. Shouldn't have done it. I think he's level with Lockyer. Probably. Lockyer's been out half the season, so it's still yeah. just as impressive. Hashioka! Didn't quite avoid the list. I am wearing his nation's team. Yeah. He majorly lost him in his hair. Like, just lost him. And it's a, it's a free header for him, does. Mm -hmm. like, he just has to stay in front of him. It's all he has to do. See, I thought Ogbené was his man at first, but when I looked, at it, looked again, it was Hash. Mm. Like, he's behind Hashioka and then... When the ball gets to him, he's in front of him. Yeah, well, what are you doing? What We've you been on the list too many times. What are you doing? Uh, what kind of glitch in the Matrix was this next one? Ball went straight through. Leno, he got the sit -ums. He can't get sit -ums. Like He was just... Uh, uh, uh. Ball went straight through for a doe. As a goalie, is that not like jarring when That's you, you just... One of the most the embarrassing ball. things. If it deflects, it's like, oh, but if you... He never lost sight of it. It just came all the way through. He was expecting a deflection and it never happened. Well, if he's leaning on... His deflection. contingency wasn't there. What a sausage. Get insurance. Last one. Lakonga. It's going back to Arsenal. The you gave this to Lakonga? I thought this was yeah. no fault screamer, Wilson. No, nah, he leaves Wilson. He lets him have five yards on the edge of the box. Yeah. And he'd just done the same shot from a free kick. So you knew what he was going to do. Yeah. And Lakonga backed off him, gave him the five yards. Gave him all that space. You can't be doing that. No. Not when I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, Brighton, Manchester United. And this game was quite dull for a while. Uh, Man United got off the mark because Igor, what are you doing? Wait, uh, Two weeks in a row, uh, uses his hand to soften this pass for Dallow. Uh, just clear it, mate. Abbott, get rid. But no, he he, he buckled, Sean. I thought Dallow's offside because it hits Hoyland. But it like, doesn't hit Hoyland. It's Igor. Yeah, apparently not. Hits apparently, him on the wrist. Apparently Igor's just like, have the ball, mate. And then, oh, potentially the most embarrassing fault this week. Yeah. Billy Gilmore. Oh, my word. The way he bit on the drop of the shoulder from Hoyland yeah. is so embarrassing. <laughs> and then he just lunges for it because he's been sent backwards. Mm. And he's nowhere near the ball. And Hoyland just walks and then just leathers it in. Has to walk through it. I had this one down as Igor on the double, so Sean's lucky. Igor's lucky Sean's got this goal. Because he kept backing up, backing up, backing up. But yeah, I did see that Gilmore was being a little bit naughty. He bit on the shoulder drop. Mm -hmm. but he almost fell over. Chichi Born Born. Chelsea Bournemouth. Chelsea Bournemouth. Stream this game. Enjoyed this game. I say, though, it's his first goal for Chelsea. Didn't know that. Yeah. 50 yards away, all the way over the top. And uh, John, guess who's at fault? I don't know. Neto. Obviously. Obviously. Neto. Goalkeeper's way too far out. This is an easy one for us. Not a rule, but if the keeper's 35 yards out of goal, come on. Yeah, when the shot is taken and the keeper's on the 30 yard line, problem. <laughs> Second up, Tavernier. Yeah, and I'm sticking with that sound. Tavernier. <laughs> Sterling. Just full on in his box of tricks here. Yeah. And Tavernier has no idea what's going to happen here. Mm. He's going left, right. Tried to grab him, tried to pull him. Also. Mainly backwards. Yeah. <laughs> and then Neto gets nutmegged, but yeah. can't blame the keeper. It's a beautiful goal. Not with Tavernier is, or Tavernier is right there doing that. He's one for me. I don't like him. He needs to go. Baddie Chile, own goal. It's one of the other three rules we have here. If you give the own goal, you are at fault. So on the list, B. You know what that means. What's that? Baddie Chile is the top. Chelsea fault this season. One ahead of Roberto Sanchez. Bye bye. I have this written down as Shed Spurs. Yeah, Chef Spurs. Sheffield United Hot uh, Sheffield Spurs. Sheffield United versus Tottenham Hotspur. Indeed. Boggle. 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 I want to call him Boggle because he's boggled. Mm, like, he is, yeah. He's just standing there. Damn boggle. Not clearing the ball, not running up the field, just looking around. Yeah. And it's like he can't see Mr. Six Foot Two Van der Ven sprinting <laughs> at him. Exactly. I don't know how the ball stayed on. Like, it's mm. a magic spin on it. Yeah, and then the ball's like bounced around a bit, and it's a pretty simple goal mm -hmm. for Mr. Kulusevski. But Bogle, when you're in that position in the Championship next year, hoof it up the line. Yeah, get it cleared because then you might stand a chance of coming back up. 
It's unlikely though. Uh, Fodderingham, amazing world class save oh. from a deflection from his own player coming in, pushes it in the correct direction. I'm really glad I get to compliment him on a really well fought game. No faults for him, but as far as I'm concerned, he gets this ball away to the byline. Tottenham are jammy to get it straight back out. And Pedro Porro hit this like his life depended on it. That ball was 90 mile an hour. Had Fodrino have stopped it, his hands would have gone in with him, just stumps left. I feel like it would have just taken the glove off. Yeah. His hand. No fault. Screamer. Delta. Thank oh. you, Fodringham, for not making me hate you all the way to the end. It does go straight through his hands, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, he's not. You stopping, cannot react but... past. The, no, one could, no one would save that. The only person that could say that is Courtois because he's so tall it hit him in the face, but then he's dead. Yeah. Then then what's the point? That's a, that's a powerful shot to <laughs> yeah. take to the head. <laughs> it is. Jackie Boy Robinson. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's more of a positional thing, mm -hmm. this one, where he lets Kulisevsky get on the left-hand side of him. Yeah. And the ball's on the left. He pushes him. Yeah, he shoves him. He pushes in, him into the line into of the, the goal. Ball. The opposite of his, his job. And, like, you're never getting away with that. No <laughs> matter who's on you, if you put them in front of you to the cross... <laughs> It's your own fault, mate. He might have been trying to push him offside or something like that. I've seen he does get a foot to the shot, though, and deflect it. Yeah, yeah it does but, just hit him, yeah. Yeah, but it's not good enough. Well, like you pointed out on the stream, they now join Derby in the worst Premier League run of goals conceded in history at minus 69. Well, did they lose by three? They lost by three. It's 3 0. Oh, well then. Well then. Sheffield United, equally as awful as Derby from 2000 and what? Seven, eight season. Rata. 17 years later, Sheffield United going strong. Manchester City, West Ham. And the, the, the title winning, winning league winning game, which never looked. In their celebration, never looked a problem. They didn't care. They didn't. Pep just did this. Yeah, Pep was just like, yeah. And then thumbs up. Standard. Yeah, cool. He, just, he knows he cheated. He's a cheat codes on. Carl Walker didn't care when he lifted the thing. Exactly. The Bruyne didn't care. Phone was going a bit nuts. It is what it is. You say Cole Palmer, Carl Walker. Carl Walker. Okay, right. Carl just, Walker. Just didn't said Walker. Care. Yeah, they're bored of it now. Yeah. They wanted to see what losing's like. <laughs> they don't want to win anymore. Let uh, United win it. Yeah. First goal, Foden. It's a no-fault screamer. It's a Foden goal. It's top bins. He's nothing, no one's doing nothing about that. Yeah, it's a, it's a beauty. Mm -hmm. 78 seconds into the league winning game. Mm -hmm. Shows some bottle, that does. Doesn't it? Does. James Ward-Prowse. You're giving Prousey this one. He's with Foden. Pulls that out of it, yeah. And then he lets him go. Yeah. And he's just focused on the ball. Mm. And he starts going towards the ball, and then Foden drifts into space. Yeah, beautiful pass from Doku, mm -hmm. and then Foden just blasts it in. Yeah, Foden's but it. Yeah, Ward Prowse is on him the whole way. It's so annoying. <laughs> as soon as he stops looking at him, Foden's gone. Yeah, gone. It's like, oh. Zuma's a little bit ball watching for me, but I I would have said Prowse as well for this one because he does, You can see he pulls his foot back. Yeah. Uh, next one, great goal. Kudas set himself up for a cheeky overhead kick that he also smashes his shin just like on Atro. Gavardiol set him up though, dinked it to him. Clear it out next time, lad. Yeah, don't do what Bogle did. Don't just look up and then try and get it. Just get rid. Okay? Worst case, it didn't really matter. Yeah, if he, I mean, if he kicked him, they probably wouldn't have conceded. Exactly. Clean sheet. You get a bonus. Still one goal. Probably would have got sent off. Who, uh, who scored the league winning goal, Sean? Rodri. Doing what he does best. Only scores winners. Scoring trophy winners. <laughs> That's all he does. And uh, yeah, James ward prowse Poor guy, man. He's not a defensive midfielder. No. Getting back to Southampton when they get promoted. Because, my word. But, um, no, he's with Rodri again and then drifts away from Rodri and the ball just goes to Rodri and then he's like, oh, I'm going to get in front of this yep. and he just doesn't make it. Yep. And Rodri places this so bottom corner. It's it just it didn't leave the floor at all. It was grass cutter. Mm -hmm. straight and Ariola's like, oh no. He got a little hand to it, didn't he? Yeah. yeah he he pushed it even more bottom corner. Yeah, that's it. He nearly did well. Ariola needs a, needs a strong move to a stronger team. And JWP, maybe you are just championship quality, mate. Maybe your Southampton quality. Uh, we wouldn't mind doing a video with you one day, though, so let's not right, I'll beat him in a free kick contest. Easy <laughs> not mode. even slightly. Uh, Arsenal, Everton. Arston. Arston, nice. The, uh, the main bottle jobs of this Premier League. They, uh, they couldn't hack it, they couldn't get there, and first up, their golden boy laying a dead duck egg because he headed this straight past Raya. Mm -hmm. What a sausage. What's he doing? He's also like trying to handball it. Yeah. He got so high though, to be fair, he got really high up so he could score what is essentially an own goal. It's a beautiful own goal as well. Mm. But it's not given as an own goal. No, no. Because apparently it was on target. It still would have gone into The target. ball's going so far wide. <laughs> yeah. That's another one. Decky Rice on the list. Uh, Sean says it's going wide and it's going top court. <laughs> <laughs> Tarkowski. I don't know. I didn't watch the game mm -hmm. fully. I just saw the highlights. He's on the left wing yeah. when the ball is played in. And then he's sprinting over he dove and he slides, hard. but he's just that little bit too late. Mm -hmm. And um, Tomiyasu 
out of nowhere. Yeah. Puts it bottom corner. But I don't know why he's all the way over there. No, I was, again, I think it was because of the passage of play beforehand. But then McNeil also wasn't pressing. I don't think Everton would really put in in 100% beat. I can, only, I can only think Tarkowski might have been on the sideline and the ref said you could come back on. Yeah, maybe. And then, and then he's like, okay, I've got to get He came over with everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then he, everything. Before he even got to where the ball was being played, he was sliding. Yeah. Another straightforward one, Ashley Young. He's already on the beach. And the laziest pass that just gets absolutely turned up. And then Havertz eventually ends up poking it in, but you can see that they're all devastated. Yeah, they all, they all learn at half time that Man City are two 0 up. Scored an 89th minute winner. Didn't celebrate. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, nah, <laughs> just it's not, it's not for him. No trophies for you, Havertz. War, war a let down. War a let down. Uh, live Wolves. Liver Wolves. Live Wolves. <laughs> Jurgen's final game. We love the Wolves. Good send off for him. Two 0 win. Yeah, I mean it could have been more. Samedo decided he wanted to boot a man. Yeah, well, I nearly gave this to Samedo. Well, for, surely it's for got anger in, for anger in McAllister. <laughs> yeah, because like he stomped on him, and then McAllister turned and demon took time. it personally. Yeah, he went demon time. Yeah, he scored a header against a six foot four Santiago Bueno mm -hmm. next to him. Who is at fault for this goal? Yeah, how do you lose a header to a man eight inches shorter than you? <laughs> Well, Santi basically never, didn't jump. He, he jumped a little bit. He shouldn't need to jump. No. <laughs> <laughs> McAllister needed a trampoline to get that high, and he got one. But guess what, Sean? He's on the double, because bueno. it's Santi, and oh. it's Bueno. Uh, flicked it up around Jose, saw himself. His little back heel, straight up, and then Kwonsar had to poach Salah's goal. But yeah, yeah. Pat Salah didn't mind. I, I think scored. it would have been cleared if Kwonsar's not there, because the other he guys probably, would have to boot it off Yeah, the he would have done. Kwonsar had to dink it over his little, yeah. his little lace, bless him. But yeah, Santi on the double. First double. Last double, I believe. No, first double this this game week. No, no, J, J, JWP. Oh, JWP did get a double. All right, not a double. Last we didn't even, we didn't potentially even, last double. We didn't make it from whap, whap, double, double. James Ward on the double. Back in the championship. Prowsy double, Boy. double. <laughs> but no, yeah, potentially last double, depending on how the rest of it goes. Yeah, we'll see. There's a lot Burnley. of goals in the There's a lot of goals to come up. Burn arrest. Burn, Burnley Forest. Burn. Guess what? What? He's back. He's back. Doro Shea's back. Doro Shea is back. Oh, my word. You never guess who's Mark. Not paying attention. Who's supposed to be Mark and Chris Wood. <laughs> not paying attention to Chris Wood at the back post. Not even a little bit. And then just hoping that there's no one there because mm -hmm. he doesn't look. Just goes ah. Oh. He just he's like oh that'll go out for a goal kick. <laughs> Awful cross. Guess what? Turn Chris Wood goal. Chris Wood. Yep. Making me look silly Stood when there, I say like, Chris plank. Wood is washed. Chris was just like hi. Yeah. Tap in. He's like oh I'm six foot nine. Four yards Oof. away. <laughs> How do you not know the man's there? Hard to give for the second one. Uh, Asignon. Played him on side. That's all yeah. I've got. Because it hits Chris Wood like Kulisevsky. just hits his foot and goes in. Offside for ages, but Signon is genuinely playing on offside. We it's desperately need so the Champions unlucky. League offside VAR stuff. So unlucky. It is, well, no, Asignon's just stopped playing. He's just leaning a bit too much. And he... No, he was yards over. He was, he was, was he? so far in. No, yeah, he was like two yards. He's, he's like playing Because he'd run it. in and he just hadn't gone back to join the line yet. So mm. he was just ball watching. Just playing. Sittums. What a shame. But guess what? What's that? Jason Mario. <laughs> I had Mario. Massive well. deflection week this week. Oh, big it? time, yeah. It's just Rice. Yeah. And then there's Mario one. My word. It's Sendham week. Yeah. He's the culprit. It, hits, it goes through his legs, hits his back leg, mm -hmm. and somehow ends up in the other side. It's like part. a pirouette. He jumps and like twists. Yeah. And it sort of like hits something and it's yeah. random. It's Keeper's like, oh, no add spin, it's going the other way. Yeah. Speaking of embarrassments, Palace Villa. Or... CPAV. Yeah. Crystal V, I'm going to call Capel. this one. Because they were all on some sort of crystal something at Villa. Because either they're all on the beach oh or God. they all had money on getting absolutely clapped by Eze and Mateta. There's between them five goals, hat trick and two for Eze. So this is really annoying for me. Why is that? Because seeing defenders not try mm -hmm. really hurts my feelings. Doesn't it? There are three centre backs <laughs> around Mateta mm -hmm. and not a single one of them bothered to enter the box when he was on his own. Yeah. Shooting against the keeper. They did this a few times where once they know they're beaten, they just stop. Yeah, and Longley, yep. he just stood there and let him roll him. He mm -hmm. just stood in front of him, turned, and then... I had this as Longley. The three centre-backs didn't go into the box. Yep. He also pushed Mateta a little bit at, into the path of the ball. So he's, he's, I don't know why they're doing that. It's just laziness. They're like, okay, have the mm -hmm. ball. Like They genuinely wanted to concede. They did, like From the first goal, you're like, oh, they just don't care. Yeah. And then... Diaby nearly goes and scores, and then for the rest of the game, they're basically not playing. Exactly. Second goal, not too far off. Digne, similar thing, dangerously out of position. Munoz, completely and utterly unencumbered to get this cross in. Mm -hmm. It's a tap-in for Mateta. A tap-in. 
If they did not pa- on there. If they did passes to assists, mm-hmm. at least they would have five. If they did two layers of assists, he would have had them all. Mm. It's beautiful. Watching them three link up. Is, mm. oh. It has been delicious. And then the, the right back gets involved. It's like, oh. Uh, third goal, no fault. You go no fault I, for this I one. I can't fault anyone. No? No one is doing anything wrong. I, I had a little remark for Chambers here. Because the ball is rifled into DRB. Yeah. And then it flings off. And Eze's like, mm. oh, I got the ball 30 yards out. I'll take two steps, shoot, and put it perfectly yeah, bottom it was, corner. It was a great goal. I, I would agree, no fault here as well. Yeah. Like, defenders had to come across to him yeah. <laughs> to like block it. But they tried. And I mean, Well, I'm glad you mentioned Inye. What I did before, and also Longley, because both of them again did the exact same thing. <laughs> Once they were beat by Mateta, they both just went, ah, oh, mm. but I've got to give this one to Longley. He's going to be the one getting the double. It's his job. He's the centre back. He should be the one in that place. He was just like, oh, no. Do you want to read the highlighted name on the screen? He's at the hat trick. <laughs> 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 he gets sold so hard by the back heel. So he's just gone. He just went. And he was like, Oh no, I've got to get back to the ball. And by the time he turned around, Eze had scored again. So there was a secret hat trick. A secret this, hidden hat trick. In this game. Yeah, oh. Mateta's actual hat trick and yeah. Longley's defensive howler hat trick. It just leaves him so much room. Exactly. The Premier League don't tell you these stats. That's why we bring you them here. 48 hours football. Like and subscribe. Comment for more. There's only been three <laughs> true hat tricks this season. Yeah. Four. 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 Yeah. Bennett yeah. got one. He did. That was a bad game for Brentford, that one. It was. You know what else was a bad game for Brentford? What's that? This one right here. Yeah, Brent Nuke. Up next is Brentford Newcastle. Brent Nuke. It's a six goal monster, and the first at fault is Jorgensen. Left Harvey Barnes in the box all on his own. Uh, like you said, it's been a, a, a week of sitems. Like people just going, oh, and Jorgensen, big boy. Harvey Barnes, not so big boy. And yet, header. So you don't, you don't often see Harvey Barnes scoring headers. What is going on? That means it's someone messed up big time. The next one is hilarious. For what ne- is this control with a chest? For, for me, it's Pinnock. It's got to be. Because, first of all, it's a speed issue. Because mm-hmm. if he was that bit faster, Isak... He tried to control his, the chest went through his legs. Yeah, yeah. He's it, beat. It's not that Trouble. good. <laughs> but, um, and then when he puts that stupid slide tackle in, mm-hmm. that barely moves the ball. Yep. Isak then has the entire box to cross it across. <laughs> and I think it's Murphy at the back post who scores. It is, yeah. And there's just no one there. Because Pinnock had to decide, OK, I'll stay on Isak because my touch is so bad. I'll chase him down a bit and then I'll go to the middle. Yep. Instead, he put in a slide tackle which left him on the floor and no one in the box. Yeah, well, uh, for the next one, Regulon got a phone call from Bogle at half time telling him exactly how to get on the list and he listened word for word because he got turned, he got possession stolen from him and it's too easy for Newcastle to get on the list. We only play on the list for two different teams. Exactly. Sergi Regulon, <laughs> Man United and Brentford. Yeah, well, that's it. It's what you get when you swap over to a different team and you're equally shit. Yep. This is the, uh, the wake-up call after half time. Mm-hmm. This one, Fabian Shaw, bro was asleep. He was like he had no idea Jan out was there, and he never seemed to close down anything. He just ran back into where he's supposed to he be, was, and it was like, oh no! He was so in position <laughs> that he was out of position. Yeah, like because the ball's moving around him, and he's just stood there, turning. in position, not paying attention. That's right. He's yeah. just like, oh, oh, oh! They just pinged it around him. The ball gets played out wide. He's like, okay, I'll turn the face that way. Ball gets played across him. He's like, I'll turn the face this way. Goal. <laughs> it's like move. Well, from all of that, and you love Jan out as well, so we yeah, Vitali like Jan out, oh yeah. boy, when he gets to play in position, he's so good. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next one, um, Wissa, no fault, all net, screamer. Wissa doing Wissa things. Nothing really to see. The dink over Dan Byrne, Elisima, but not his fault. It is what it is, he'd have done that to anyone. I wish it was dink over dunk. <laughs> uh, we've, never, we've not said that yet, that sounds yeah, quite been. nice. So next season. Finally, the final one of the season. Yeah. Can you believe it? It is the final one of the season. It would have been season. beautiful if it was Matip. Yeah, wouldn't it? It's not. But Matip hasn't played it. Because like he was the first two one months. we ever did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of, yeah you knew that. <laughs> Samam Godos. Godos. Sittums has struck in the final what's he doing of the of the year. Okay. And my word, he's just left to watch Bruno You're being G. kind for Fleck to Flecken. Uh, if I can blame someone else, can't blame the keeper. <laughs> yeah, That's one of the enough. commandments. But he just... He stood there and Bruno G's trying so hard to get off him. Mm. He's like, get off me. And eventually he gets off and Godless has just stood there doing the splits, watching the ball go into the back of his own net. Yeah, it is. And then Bruno G put on a bucket hat and looked like a right chav. Yeah, so. well, he got the job done. Newcastle got the job done. Man City got the job done. Chelsea got the job done. We're in Europe. It's going to be fun next season because we'll have Europe games to do what's he doing for. We'll have Europe games to stream. We'll bring you all the action for next season. For now, thank you for tuning into What's He Doing. What's He Done? For... 2023 2024 season of the Premier League, and we look forward to the Euros for bringing you some more of these stats that the Premier League or the Euros 
Just don't want you to know how bad some of these players are, Sean. So many goals! So many There's going to be so many up. goals at the European group Remember, stages. Remember, like, subscribe, comment for the next one. And if you like the video, by chance, like the video. It would help us out a great deal. Thank you.